Hey guys, it's me Kate uh, uh, again. So this is this video is all about the my most uh, the disappointing things that I watched this year so far. In 2023, so TV shows, movies, cartoons, anime, everything. The first thing I mentioned as an honorable mention in my uh, most surprising series uh, uh, stuff that I watched uh, video because I said I wasn't sure how to categorize it, but I also put it as an honorable mention it here because it's a bastard son and the devil himself. It's an adaptation of Stella Green's uh, Half Bad Trilogy. So, uh, why am I putting it uh, in the box the videos as I know I will mention? I put it in that for the sense that I was surprised it even existed, to be honest. And in this one, because I kind of was disappointed, disappointed in a way they chose to. Continue a storyline of the particular character who in the book series Especially in the part of the story we are following through this, uh, the season of the bastard son and the devil himself Isn't there so that character appears uh, So in the first book that character appears in the flashbacks Not in present day in the show she, uh, that character is present in the present day. Through the whole thing in the book, she's only present in the present day for maybe one or two scenes, if that. And that's what's kind of disappointing because that care, uh, the whole point of that character in the books was. That, the, that at the end of book two, something happens to with that character that is a big twist. In the and in the show they made it that way. That twist isn't so. Uh, well, established because, as I said in the book, uh, one. That character is hardly present in present today uh, scenes, while in the show they're present all the time in the, except for a little bit, but they're present in present day quite a lot, which means that if show continued, that the twist that would uh, that comes at the end of book two with that character doesn't make so much sense in the show and why uh, is that disappointing to me is because I don't like that character in the books the whole point is that you don't know where to stand with that character in the books at least that's my opinion while in the show you don't have that kind of thing so yeah, I'm going to move on to the actual uh, uh, stuff which are on the list. First is Casa, uh, Casa de Papel, uh, House of Paper I think it's in English. I know it's in Croatian it is Cucho de Papira, literal translation of Casa de Papel, Cucho de Papira. And in English it, the, if we apply the same logic to English it would be House of Paper and I only watched first two episodes of the show I have to say we are following a group of characters who are trying to pull off this heist they don't know each other's names they don't know who the others are they are all so the names they use in the show oh, are literally cities so uh, Sydney, Lisbon, London, and stuff like that. Uh, and mm, honestly, I heard a bunch of things about it, a bunch of great things. And it's honestly not that good, in my opinion. So, 
that's it. Then we have Arcade. Again, something I heard a lot of good things about, but in my opinion, isn't as good as people seem to make it out to be. It's just... Okay. In this part, uh, it's good. Let me just say that. But overall, it's just okay. So. And then we have Elite. Season 5 onwards. Season 5, not so much. But everything after it. Pfft. I have, uh, literally, I haven't even watched season 7. Because of how I was disappointed specifically by season 6. So, after season 4, much of the original cast is left. Only. I think two original cast uh, members remain, if I remember correctly. A lot of new characters are brought in, a, new to a lot of new storylines. And mostly because I liked the first bunch of characters which were there up until season 4, I liked it better. Season 5 and especially season 6 suffered, in my opinion, from not having those characters in them. So, yeah, uh, that's it that I have for this video. Uh, if you liked it, please like, share and subscribe. Down below you have my social media, my email and Sanders stuff. We'll see you next one.